Minecraft is a pretty big game that has a lot of mechanics and nuances. And no matter how professional a player you are, you probably don't know about some things in the game. For example, did you know that there are stealth elements in Minecraft? Or that you can put Enderman in water and he doesn't teleport? Or that polar bears were planned to be removed from the game? Today I'll tell you about 15 secrets and interesting facts about Minecraft. Did you know that there are stealth elements in Minecraft? With the idea of stealth in other games, it's hard to imagine something like that in Minecraft. But nevertheless, the game has something that resembles stealth mechanics. Did you know that mobs notice a player within a 16 blocks radius? Well, if you walk towards the mobs with the shift button pressed, the mobs will notice you from 13 blocks away. But that's not all. You can also put on the head of the mobs. It will also reduce your visibility to eight blocks. But you can also get maximum invisibility if you put on the head of the mob and press shift, then the distance from which you will be noticed by the mobs is seven blocks. Without getting too far away from the mobs, did you know that skeletons can hold a bow in their left hand? The percentage that a skeleton will appear with a bow in the left hand is 11%. So this is the percentage of left-handed people in real life. The developers deliberately decided to make such a funny secret. I think everyone knows that Endermans are afraid of water, and when they touch water, they immediately teleport to a drier place. But what if I told you that you can put an Enderman in water, and he will feel absolutely fine? For this we need a cauldron that is filled with water, and the Enderman can safely stand in it. What is interesting is that the liquid that is in the cauldron does not lose its characteristics. You can also burn if you climb into the cauldron that is full of lava. Obviously it's a bug, but it's just funny that the Enderman has no reaction to the water under his feet in this situation. I'm sure everyone knows that next to the cactus cannot put any blocks, because they easily break the cactus. But still in Minecraft, there are blocks that can be close to the cactus, and do not harm it in any way, as ironic as it sounds. But the block that can be next to the cactus is snow. You can place snow with the help of snow cover or powder snow bucket. The interesting thing is that a full block of snow breaks the cactus. Have you ever tried to move an anvil with a piston? I'm sure you couldn't do it, but what if I told you that you can still move the anvil? Only to move it, you need to do it while the anvil is in the air. Also, in this way you can move other falling blocks like sand or gravel. Banners are very useful in building and decorating blocks, but do you know how many varieties of banners there actually are in Minecraft? There are just over 809 quadrillion unique banners. What's also interesting is that there are two more patterns on the bedrock version of the game, so the total number of banners is even greater. As much as one quintillion, that's 1.4 times more compared to the Java edition, or almost 292 quadrillion. I think it's hard to imagine Minecraft without any of the important resources, but what if I told you that the developers once removed iron from the game? In Snapshot 21W08, a completely accidentally removed iron from generation in the world of Minecraft. I think it would not be easy to beat the game without iron. What do you think? How do you dig nether gold ore? You may not have paid too much attention to this, but if you dig this ore with a pickaxe that is enchanted for silk touch, then you can dig this ore in its entirety, and then you can smelt it in the furnace and get a full gold bar instead of a small number of gold nuggets. How often do you use the rails? Maybe after this secret, you will use them more often? The thing is that we can make a minecart go indefinitely without rails. For this, you need to place three minecarts on one rail and then press the button to start the minecarts. They will go until they hit some obstacle on their way. It is also interesting that these minecarts can partially go through the air. If you break every second block on the way of these minecarts, they will pass over the void. Did you have any fish pets? I think you've had the urge to rename one of your sea pets but you didn't want to waste name tags. Well, you can easily rename any of your pets that fit in the bucket with the anvil. Just open the anvil window, move the bucket there, and then enter the name you want in the name box. Afterward, the released fish, or axolotl, will have the name you gave it in the anvil. Have you noticed that the items in Minecraft have different color names? Well, all items in Minecraft are divided into four types of rarity. Common, uncommon, rare, and epic. To the items of uncommon rarity can be attributed items as Bottle of Enchanting, Elytra, Heads, Nether Star, Totem of Undying, Enchanted Book, and a couple of other items. Mostly it is the usual treasure items, as well as the drop from small bosses. Rare items include Beacon, Conduit, End Crystal, Enchanted Armor, Tools and Weapons, Golden Apple and Music Discs. These are items made from boss drops, as well as treasure items that are difficult to obtain. Epic rarity items include various items from the creative mode, but there are also a couple of items that can be obtained legally, 
such as the Dragon Egg or the Enchanted Golden Apple. But still, most of the items in Minecraft have rarity common, which is displayed in the usual white color. Also, in Minecraft there is one more unique rarity of the item. This rarity is inherent in only one item, and it is Ominous Banner, which has the rarity Ominous. Horses in Minecraft are quite useful animals at the beginning of the game. Thanks to them, you can easily go a long distance. I'm sure you know that in Minecraft, there are not only horses, but donkeys. The difference between these two is that horses are faster, and donkeys have a slower movement speed, but have the ability to carry items if you put a chest on them. But few people know that you can cross both of these types of animals, and you can end up with a hybrid of donkey and horse. This is a mule which will be faster than a normal donkey, but will also retain the ability to carry items. Did you know that the developers were planning to remove the bears from the game? All because they were compared on the ice islands and had no way to choose from there. And one of the developers thought it was sad, but in the end, the developers decided to keep the bears in the game. I think you know what happens to a creeper when lightning hits him. It becomes a charged creeper. But have you ever wondered what happens if lightning hits other mobs? If lightning hits a pig, it will turn into a zombie piglin. And if lightning hits a villager, it will turn into a witch and will not be able to transform back into a villager. But the most interesting transformation happens. If lightning hits a mushroom cow, we get a brown variation of mushroom cow, which does not spawn naturally. It can only be obtained by lightning. Also, strange thing happens if the lightning strikes the turtles. If the lightning kills the them, with a small chance they can drop a bowl. Did you know that piglins can wear heads? You can make any piglin wear the head of a mob or player. For this you can use dispenser and put it close to the piglin. Or there is a simpler option. Just throw the head of a mob under the feet of the piglin and he will wear it. The most interesting thing is that piglins can wear their own piglin head and it will look very funny. This video comes to end. Put likes and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. See you later.